do actually um, review a book by a Harvard professor who claimed that India's Institute of Technologies were actually oppressing Dalits. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Yeah, I mean, there's a professor, Ajanta Subramanian, I mean, herself, a uh, elitist. She's had a very elitist education in India, and she's uh, holding a very prestigious, uh, you know, post in, uh, in, at Harvard. She's written this book uh, called uh, The Cast of Merit or something. I have, I have a copy somewhere here. Mm -hmm. uh, so she, uh, she uh, this book says, the whole thesis is on IITs, it says that uh, it goes to the history of engineering in India and the rise of IITs and basically it tries to make the case that the very DNA, the very tattva, the essence of IITs is Brahmanical and it's oppressive of Dalits. And this is in the structure of uh, the IITs. It's not like something little that you can reform. That's the very foundation of IITs. So what, hap what she's saying is that all these successful people you know, who are the CEOs in Silicon Valley and Indians are doing very well and we're all very proud of them and all this IT industry and export industry, it's all export of Brahmanical uh, supremacy, which then means racism, because once you say casteism equals racism, then this whole thing has to come under the American law of racism. Now, this has legal ramifications. So there are workshops that uh, Equality Labs and various other people are doing workshops all over Silicon Valley uh, telling uh, the the American tech companies, tech giants, that they have to learn about casteism and they have to have surveys of caste to see how many people have belonged to different castes and if there is caste discrimination on salaries and if there's caste discrimination on how many people on their board, how many people are there in their top management. So this caste consciousness is being taught by uh, people who are promoting all this knowledge. And, and so the American uh, you know, tech giants don't know what to do. I mean, they, they don't want controversy. They, they want, they believe in meritocracy. But Ajanta Subramanian's book says that meritocracy is a disguised way to mask racism and casteism and Brahmanical supremacy. So when you say we are hiring on merit, or when you say that uh, IITs are uh, admitting people based on a merit exam, uh, she says that that's all nonsense because really it's casteism and you're calling it merit. So she builds all this argument, which is hocus pocus. I don't think that I think she just does a little cut paste from here and there in a very clever way, but she's supported by uh, uh, this whole Harvard ecosystem. Uh, it, it's people like her, Wilkerson, uh, a few others that go on these, uh, you know, these uh, yes. famous shows. Well, you, you mentioned in your book, uh, you actually put a major chapter out to Suraj Yengde. Um, you criticize him. What, yes. Why is he so important? So Suraj Yengde uh, is a young man uh, at the Harvard Kennedy School as a fellow, uh, and the and he has become uh, black. Uh, we know that uh, Bobby Jindal became the honorary white at wanting to enter politics as the honorary white. But guess what? Now we have also honorary blacks. So if you look at his picture, he's got this afro, and that is not how he was when he arrived at Harvard. He was like a regular mm -hmm. Indian looking man. And now he's developed this afro. And he says that he's an African, he's a black, and he wants Dalits to say that they are blacks. So the African-American community have embraced him because he's a, he's a very articulate man, very intelligent, very well-spoken. I think there are a lot of great things about him. In fact, I've tried to reach out to him uh, because I think a lot of things he says are actually true. This, the, 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 some of, a lot of the oppression he talks about is true and it ought to be taken care of. But this business of becoming sort of Harvard's poster boy for what 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 is called the Afro Dalit identity, the Afro Dalit hyphenated identity that Dalits are really Africans uh, and and uh, this whole black white racism of America has to be the lens through which to study the uh, caste issues of India. He's championing that. In my earlier book Breaking India over a, a, de a decade ago, I talked about Afro Dalit, but no one took it seriously. And mm -hmm. so no one nipped it in the bud. No one helped me nip it in the bud. So yeah. now this Afro Dalit movement is all over the place. That is the heart of critical caste theory today. And so Suraj Yangde at Harvard is the key figure uh, in championing on the world stage. And he's become very popular in India. The Indian left loves him. They bring him to all these lit fests and he's a, he's a big hero. But there are so many flaws I pointed out. His understanding of Buddhism is flawed. 
his understanding of uh, marxism is flawed his understanding of hinduism is flawed his his he's got all these weird ideas about caste and the history of caste and this aryan invasion and so on i mean i have a very large chapter taking his writings which are prolific and his videos which are prolific taking them point by point and giving a response i mean i'm not trying to censor anybody silence anybody uh, you know they have a right to speak and i have a right to respond i want healthy debate i invite them i invite them and if you could bring them on to a forum where you moderate and we have a respectable discussion and we agree disagree i would welcome it i would welcome it with wilkerson i would welcome it with sonarya rajan of uh, of uh, you know equality labs i would welcome it with ajanta subramanian at harvard i would welcome it with uh, yengde at harvard so all these people whose works i'm criticizing uh, i'm doing it in a very in a very uh, clinical in a very analytical academic way there is no disrespect there is no abusive language i'm not accusing them or blaming them i'm just saying that they're wrong their academic work is flawed so yengde is a very influential figure in that regard Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net.